Good morning everyone, I am Lauren and I'll be taking over the Glow Dreaming page today. Um, I'm 25 and I am from South Australia, south of the city, right near the beach. And I have a nine month old Elliot. A um, bit of a late start today because Elliot was awake for a little bit last night because he's cutting a tooth so it just takes him a little bit longer to get back to sleep when he has that one wake up. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to feed him his breakfast and then I'll pop back on and um, share our story. Alright, Elliot has had some breakfast so I'm back. That's just him playing with his toys in the background there. Um, ignore my little baby hairs, that's just my new hair growth from when I had him and I have a cowlick so I'm stuck with that for a little while. Um, Yes, so I will pop my Instagram handle on here if anyone wants to follow me as well. It's just a lot of pictures of Elliot, really. <laughs> um, so our sleep story. Um, he was pretty much a normal sleeper until about four or five months. So we'd get at least a six, eight hour window and then he'd wake up every two to three hours. So I was waking up roughly three times a night, which didn't really bother me. Um, and then at about five months... Um, he then started waking up every two hours, sometimes one, without fail. Um, so he was waking up at least six times a night when I was like, And at the time I was feeding him to sleep, which when he was younger was not an issue at all. And I have lots of friends who feed to sleep and they have unicorn babies who have slept through from such a young age. Um, and I was really hoping that could be the case for us as well because I really do love feeding him to sleep. Um... To each their own that's just what i enjoy to do um yeah so my first solution i guess was to get the glow dreaming and this when he was this was when he was five months old um the first night was like a miracle cure he woke up once and i was like oh my gosh is this how things are going to be now safe to say that was short-lived um, so I just did the six days doing the settings they suggest um, and then got in contact with them. They gave us a few tips. Um, I stopped feeding him to sleep. I, I still feed him. I just stopped feeding him to sleep. Um, and then he magically started sleeping through and then he stopped again and then he cut two teeth. Um, and then a few weeks ago he started sleeping through again. Um, but just with one wake up at like five in the morning to, um, to feed and, and then the last few days he's, he's pretty much still just got the one wake up, but it's a bit earlier because he's waking up in pain. Um, yeah, he's never been one that could sleep well when he's been teething. Um, <laughs> you're stuck. Are you stuck? We had times when he was teething before we got the glow dreaming and they were awful. They're so much better now. Even the bad nights are better than they were. So much better. At the most, it's two wake-ups. Um, um, yeah, it all started when we got the glow dreaming and it's just made it easier to handle everything. <laughs> From the constant raspberries you can tell he's teething he only does that when he's teething um yeah so i'm excited to share my day with you guys i will stop <laughs> i will stop babbling now um yeah and if you have any questions i'll pop a question box on here to answer when he's having a nap so this is elliot's room it is time for his first nap. This was on a bedside table when his mattress was higher, but we've had to recently drop it. So we'll just short term solution, putting it on a box for now. Um, at him or rock him to sleep, whatever he's good with. Occasionally he'll self settle, but I really just follow his cues as to how he wants to go to sleep and, um, and when. Um, but yeah, he normally has two naps a day and this is his first for the day.
so that's his short nap over and now we'll go on the swings or get some sun because it's a decent day today So this is currently our play area. It's a little messy at the moment because it's obviously been used today. We have our munchkin and bear mat, which saved our playtime because the carpet was just getting full of dog fur, the joy of having pets. And it was just, yeah, this is way softer and way better on his knees because our house has tiles. Um, and all of his toys are just pretty much used as walkers. Now he's figured out that he can stand up, um, unless he's tired, in which case he'll, you know, actually play with his toys. But most of the time he's just walking around or crawling away from me, like he currently is. I will go get him. <laughs> just while we aren't napping, he's just chilling right there. Um, glow dreaming settings during his nap. We just have it on the lightest red light and the loudest pink noise. And then, and that's what we do the same for his sleep as well. But we fill up the water and we put in two or three drops of the glow lullaby um, when we first got it we weren't doing drops or we were and then we got told to stop because it was sort of overwhelming for him and we got told to put a couple of drops on his pjs which worked amazingly um and then he just got more used to it um yeah, just that one there if it wants to focus yeah that one there um yeah and then we started putting some more in a few months after we started with it um and yeah, it works beautifully now. It just took him a while to get used to the scent. So my partner's now home, so I'll just make dinner while he's hanging out with Bubs. Um, and then uh, we'll set up the Glow Dreaming and he does a book while I set up the bath and they just chill out in his room so he can calm down with his Glow Dreaming. Uh, and then it's bedtime. So I'm going to uh, sign off now for the night. Um, yeah, feel free to follow me on my own account if you have any more questions or if you just want to follow along with our journey. Thanks, guys. Bye.